and will never leave the prosecutor's office, right, Julie? <laughs> Getting commitment. I, but when you talk about trials, I, I want to talk about um, a couple of things on there. And one is um, defense counsel. And, um, and I, was, I, said, I was talking to Norm Rodriguez last night. I, the nice thing about always saying the same thing and telling on the truth is then you don't have to worry about things. And I have met with so many victims, especially victims who've lost loved ones to murder. And those are such emotional meetings. And I understand the visceral reaction of how can anybody defend a guilty person? And there's venting, and I think the venting is appropriate. But one thing I'm proud of is every time with these families in these very difficult situations, I say, we want good defense attorneys. People are entitled to the right to the defense. This is how the system works. And we're better off having a good defense attorney on the other side than we are in having an inadequate. And we shouldn't convict somebody of a horrible crime because they didn't have a good lawyer. And I, I firmly believe that, and I'm honored to have so many defense attorneys um, present. And I'm appreciative of the fact that none of you are saying, or piping up and saying, the reason Andy's saying that is he's so effing arrogant that he thinks that no matter who else is in the, on, on the other side, he's still going to be the best lawyer in the courtroom. <laughs> I also think witnesses, people don't realize how difficult it is to get witnesses to testify. And I do believe in a kind of a gentle approach to people. I, I don't like courts and I hate material witness warrants. We occasionally use them. What I like to do is I like to meet with witnesses and explain the importance, explain what we're going to do. And one thing I found is um, to be kind and considerate. And um, I found myself um, going to homes of witnesses um, to get them to cooperate and to speak um, to us. And I often to the consternation of law enforcement officers who said, you went where and talked to who by yourself without one of us? And, um, and Larry, you may remember, um, I went down to McNary, Oregon once, and I got myself in trouble. <laughs> and fortunately, the Human Taylor Police Department showed up just in time to uh, extricate me from that situation. But you know what? He ended up testifying in State versus Miranda. And, and I'm, I'm just thinking that treating people with kindness and respect just pays off. And I saw another example of that um, I was at some brewery. A guy comes up to me and says, um, <laughs> You don't, re you don't recognize me, and I, I, I get that a lot, so I say, you know, you look familiar, but I can't place it right off the bat. And he says, um, well, we spent a month in the same room together, and he said, my name is, and he gave me the name. And of course, it was somebody I had convicted of first-degree murder about 26 years ago, and, and he was out of prison. And so here I am, and, but you know, that's, that's part of the job you do. And um, so we just chit-chat, and he says, you know, I, I um, not a mile of prison, but I finished all my conditions. And um, I go, well, that's great. I'm, I'm glad that things are working out for you. And he says, you know one reason I wanted to get all these conditions done? I go, no, why? I was thinking, did he draw whatever? Because you're up for reduction, and I want to vote for you. <laughs> so, but I, I don't, I won't want to take that so far. Because the mother of the woman he murdered would tell us that she would give anything to have just 15 minutes with her daughter. Hmm. And I think we, that's why I think the criminal justice system needs to be nuanced and that we need to be aware of these things. And I want to talk about victims is um, Jessica Rojas, who is one of my favorite people in the world. And when she left, and she was our victim witness manager and she, she took a great program that was established by Michelle, Michelle Martin. And now um, she's turned it over to Maggie. And but when, Jessica left her office, she was acting in the statewide committee, and she said, you know, I go to all these conferences for victim rights, and they, they're always complaining about the prosecutors, and they said, I wish the prosecutor did this, I wish the prosecutor did this, I wish the prosecutor didn't do this, and Jessica remember, and Jessica says, but in Bend County, they do all those things that you guys wish you'd be doing, and that was actually, Jessica, um, one of the nicest things I've heard, and, and keeping victims and families in the loop is so important, and I want to be honest with you, so many of them are here in the room today, and it would be easy for them to stay away from an area of such sadness and grief. And the fact that they came today um, um, means so much. And that's going to get into um, 
so to the, my announcement and the reasons for the announcement, is I want to talk about the cases and the effect of the victims. And I have a, I have a strong belief that every case like this destroys part of your soul. And I don't think when I go through a case like this, I ever get it back. And I have some, I have friends like Jay Flynn, who acknowledges that I made into the, um, one of the two lawyers from around here that made it to the American College of Trial Lawyers. But he likes, you know, he, he knows that I always have to acknowledge he got there first. <laughs> <laughs> and I have um, um, my mountaineering buddies from Renee and, I shouldn't be sitting there, I'm going to forget something. And, um, anyway, that has really helped me keep perspective on going out. But then, we have to acknowledge this gorgeous brunette in the first row. And Jenny, we're not talking about you. <laughs> Adele's had so many dinners interrupted. Um, she's had, she's, we've been going somewhere, and she's had to um, stop at a crime scene and wait in a unair conditioned car for three hours while I'm in the <laughs> desert or something. And she is so patient and she's so even keeled and she's so beautiful and so nice. <laughs> so she's just kept me going. But I want to talk about the taking the toll. <laughs> I talked to Lee Cantu and Tom Kosky um, yesterday telling my decision and 